While renovating kitchen ceiling, couple uncovers the secret that the roof was guarding for 54 years. Megan and Bobby have been living in this house for nine years. The couple got married five months ago and now had decided to bring some changes to the interior of the house. It was a holiday and Bobby was going to spend the rest of the day renovating their kitchen. The couple was very excited and Megan was even posting pictures of her husband drilling the ceiling of the house on her social account. The duo at the time had no idea what they had started. The work took longer than they had expected. It was the middle of the night and Bobby was still working. It was then something fell off the ceiling. There was a big mystery cemented inside the ceiling of their kitchen. It took them nine years to find it out and the story does not end there. It marked the beginning of the couple's unexpected adventure that was going to get more twisted. Megan and her hubby, Bobby Capsidis, 34, are both driven by logic. Bobby's hobbies include fixing stuff that very much explains his interest to take up the job of an aircraft mechanic. They bought this home in 2009 and had been trying to make it theirs. After getting all the furniture placed in the house, they thought of doing some DIY. They had to reach up to the kitchen attic. Megan, 31, and Bobby, 34, are married to each other for five years. Even though five years have gone by, they are still very much in love with each other. The duo started living in this house about eight years ago, but still, they were not familiar with one part of it. Megan and Bobby took up the DIY task and started working on their interesting project. Megan is very much active on her social accounts and that is the reason why she thought of keeping her friends posted about their DIY. She said, some before and during pictures just to show that we haven't burnt the palace down yet. Little did she know what were they going to find inside. It was the first time in nine years they were doing the renovation in their house. The house was in perfect shape when they had moved in, but now they thought of remodeling their kitchen as Megan had some plans for it. They had expected DIY to span a day. However, it took Bobby a whole day and he even had to work late in the evening. Midnight had come and the man was still there working. Bobby had gone to sleep but the man was still there working in the kitchen. Though it was disturbing her sleep, Megan was very much proud of her husband as he was still trying to get the work completed. No need to say that the sleep was gradually taking over him. So he got a little carefree with his tools. And then he got a crowbar in his hand and ripped the ceiling away with the help of its hinges. While tearing the ceiling apart, he might not have expected what would come off the ceiling. Something that had dropped down on Bobby's face. The man somehow managed to not to fall. When he looked down on the floor, he saw a brown leather purse. He picked it up to examine. The purse looked extremely normal until he turned it around and saw something strange. The purse had a design of alligator carved onto the object. It was sort of weird, so he rushed to his wife to show her this peculiar thing. For obvious reasons, they found it all creepy. They even wondered if finding the purse was a harbinger to something worse. Well, they were not entirely wrong. But with fear, the curiosity too had taken the best of them. He had to cut through the material, it being an older house, Megan explained. He pulled the soffit down and all this insulation came falling down on top of him and a really beautiful alligator purse from Cuba hit him right in the face. What they found next made them rooted to their spot. The purse had nothing in it. It was all empty. How come a purse was inside the kitchen's attic? As the purse did not contain anything, they assumed it might have held something of great value. Megan and Bobby placed the purse on the ground and resumed drilling to see if the attic was hiding any other interesting thing. Well, they could not be more right. They soon found something that took them to a different era. It was unbelievable. Megan recalled, My husband decided he wanted to tear it down at 8 in the evening and when he did, that's when everything started falling out of the ceiling. So, what came out of the ceiling? What did they find next? Bobby got himself a drill and began to dig the ceiling of the kitchen and unsurprisingly a number of other stuff began to fall off the ceiling. Not to mention, all of them were covered in dust that really made it impossible for the couple to identify them. Megan was all excited. She wrote, Stuff just keeps falling from our ceiling. Bobby was telling her everything but suddenly he became silent or more of stunned. Megan could not understand what had gone wrong with her husband in the matter of a second. While drilling, Bobby had found a note. A note buried inside the kitchen ceiling. That can't be done accidentally. Someone had purposefully hidden the note inside the ceiling. Just like every other stuff found, 
The folded note too was stained with cement and mud. Well, they were yet to get over the surprise when one more unexpected thing made its way down to Megan's heads. Now it's someone's wedding album, Megan mentioned in the post. The two again looked at each other in disbelief. They had no idea what were they holding and where these accidental discoveries were going to take them. It was a photo album. What struck them, even more, was the place where that was kept. Clearly, some had put it there intentionally. Bobby climbed down the ladder and sat on the floor along with his wife. They opened the album. It was a thick album with many photos in it. However, at that time they did not know what they were looking at actually held great importance. Bobby reminisced, I reached in the installation and I pulled out this wedding book. It's old and kind of dusty and I said, this is pretty incredible, just seeing something nostalgic like that. I have no idea why they'd keep it up in the attic. Megan already knew what this album was for. Its cover said it all. As expected, the album looked very old as its pages had turned yellow. The album was 50 pages thick. The album contained wedding pictures. Moreover, it was a traditional white wedding. In this kind of wedding, not only the bride wears a white gown and veil, but the groom too dons a white suit. By the appearance of the photo, it was clear that this wedding had taken place in the 60 seconds. The pictures were vintage and the dress sense of the bride and groom and all the other guests also conveyed the same. Now there was only one question left. Why the couple hid their wedding album and from whom? It was clear that they had concealed the album from someone. So what was their first reaction when they saw the pictures in the album that remained hidden inside the ceiling of their house? My first reaction was, wow, what a beautiful wedding. I sat looking through it and thought, we need to find these people, said Megan. The duo once again searched the ceiling to see if there was anything else hidden there. He found the big wedding album first, which would have been the bride and groom's copy of the wedding album, Megan said. The next day, when we had more light, he went back up in there and he found what would have been the parents' little small version of the same album. Bobby had bought the house in 2009. He had bought it from his mom. So, the man has no knowledge as to who used to own this house before his family. Clearly, whoever previously owned this house was the owner of these albums too. Well, it was beyond the couple as to why would anyone try to hide the pictures of their most memorable day. Clearly, this house had witnessed some odd incidents that made the couple cement their album. There was surely a link that Bobby and Megan were missing. The person who hit it could have burned it or threw it away but instead of doing that he, she decided to bury it safely inside the ceiling. And finally, they found a piece of information that led them to some surprising revelation. Bobby and Megan while sifting through the photo album found a piece of paper tucked inside. It was a copy of a wedding invitation. The invitation revealed a great deal about the newlyweds. They were Joseph Gargwillow and Marguerite. The date as written on the invitation was September 14th. What more did they find? Along with that, the invitation also revealed that the couple had got married in New York. It was clear that they had relocated to Florida after their marriage. But still, they did not know why did they hide their album inside the ceiling. After looking closely, they dug out some more important information about the couple's wedding. They even managed to find out that the nuptial was celebrated at St. Thomas Apostle Roman Catholic Church. This religious institution is situated on 87th Street and 88th Avenue in Woodhaven, Queens, New York. After the ceremony, they headed to the senior petty officer's mess at New York Naval Shipyard, Brooklyn. This is the place where they gave their wedding reception. There were numerous photos of their reception as well. Megan and Bobby felt as if they were watching a movie. Even though Megan had never talked to the couple, she felt as if she knew them. Those pictures worked as a window to the lives of this mysterious couple. Megan wanted to know more about them. Soon her desire to know them was going to turn into an obsession. Megan said, I want to find the family. It's easier today. We have the digital age where we can just call the photographer and have him send it over the internet. Back then they didn't have that so this is all they have left of their memories. The story was getting all the more confusing. If the couple was so much in love then why would they do it? Megan really wanted to know what actually went wrong. She initiated the efforts by updating her Facebook status and by sharing her recent discovery with the world. Megan really hoped that someone in her friend list might be knowing something about the album. Why was she doing all this? The woman had the perfect answer. My husband had digital copies of our wedding album. If one computer crashes, it's on another one. If we leave them somewhere, we can just get them somewhere else. They didn't have that in 1963 so the photos that you have in the book are the only photos that they have of that day, of their memories that day, and to me that's really important to have. If I had lost my wedding album, I would hope that somebody would find it and return it to me. So, there's no other option for me. 
The woman while putting up the post had never imagined that the post would reach this far. But as they say, everything has its positive and negative impact both. This viral post was going to bring in some amazing twists and turns. Megan's Facebook post got viral in no time. It reached many people and some of them even provided Megan with tiny pieces of information. It did not take long for the wedding album to deprive many people of their sleep. People wanted to know more about it. The couple even made the appearance on channels like Fox and IBC. However, Megan was still very far from getting to the couple featured in the album. Megan and Bobby received appreciation for their determination to find the couple from all the corners of the world. No wonder the album had become the talking point. Everyone was talking about it. It did not limit to the living room conversation but also began to be debated online. People debated about the gown wore by the bride. Megan was not comfortable with all this. She just wanted to give the album back to their owners. Megan had surely got enchanted with the album. She said, I've looked through the pictures hundreds of times and they're just so pretty. I feel like I want to know the rest of the story. But will she ever be able to know the entire story? Yes, she does but what she finds out eventually makes her regret going this far with the album. I would love to return it to the family, she said. I'd like to sit down and give them back their memories. But what she was doing was right. Megan posted, I'm pretty sure I'm going to find her. If not, her family, she said. I have a lead that she's two towns north of where we are now. I'd like to return it and maybe hear a little bit about her wedding day if she's willing to talk about it. According to sources, Marguerite was living in Florida. Megan made a visit to Marguerite's home but returned empty-handed as the woman had moved away somewhere else. Unfortunately, no one knew where was she now. Megan knew it was going to be difficult to find the true owners of the album as they could not get any lead about them even after getting the story viral. However, Megan was too adamant to let go of it. She was hopeful that someday she would surely find something that would solve this mystery for good. Where there is a will, there is a way. Megan soon learned a fascinating fact about the couple that totally unfolded the story. Days had passed by without any leads. Bobby had even stopped looking for clues but Megan was still hopeful. Things took an interesting turn one evening when Megan was surfing the internet. Someone had dropped a crucial piece of information about the whereabouts of Marguerite. The information revealed the city where Marguerite was residing in. As expected, the news made Megan really happy. She finally had something she was looking for days. The woman was alive and she knew where was she living. The woman decided to undertake a long journey to Marguerite's location and shared with her friends online what happened when she reached there. It was on June 8th. Megan explained to her Facebook friends that she finally had met Marguerite and that she had returned the woman her album in the purse. However, Megan did not say anything about Joseph. She said, I would like to ask for privacy for Marguerite and her family now. She wants to keep her memories personal and enjoy them with her family. However, the statement was not enough for the public as they wanted to know more about them. And the question still stood unanswered. Why did they hide the purse and the album inside the ceiling of the kitchen? The public soon got their answers. The newlyweds who looked extremely happy in the wedding faced a tragic end to their marriage when Joseph Gargwillow died nine years after the marriage. It was totally a big blow for Megan and Bobby who had not expected this at all. This was not the end of Marguerite's story. Megan soon learned another interesting detail about their life. Megan learned that after years of mourning the loss of her husband, Marguerite finally moved on and got remarried to someone else. Well, there is no doubt the woman did what was right but still Megan could not help but get mixed feelings about it. With this information, it was clear why the woman hid the album inside the ceiling. She did not want anyone to know about it nor did she have the courage to throw it away as the album held some precious moments of her life. She had lost Joseph to death but she did not want to lose his memories too. Megan remembered the moment she met the woman and gave her the album. At that time, Marguerite was a bit confused as she did not know if she should keep it or not. The old woman had a different life now with her children and grandchildren. Megan herself felt guilty for bringing all those memories back to her. However, Marguerite saw it in a different light. Marguerite was amazed at Megan's determination for returning the album to Marguerite. Bobby and Megan met the lady and with that also got to meet her family too.